All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we are going to be working on my dad's bike. Um, I haven't really used this one. Well, I use it, but I haven't shown it on video because I was waiting to get parts in to show more of it. Because obviously, you know, no one wants to see me just riding around. I I find it boring. Uh, you guys probably don't like it. If you do, let me know. But I'm not exactly the moto vlogging type of guy. I like more the install videos. And so today I got some brakes for All right, so I got brakes for the bike. Um, these are the original brakes from 2006. Well, okay, so the story is um, my dad bought this brand new 2005. It's 2006. He got it late 2005, so it's a 2006 model year. These are the original brakes that came with the bike. We've never done them. And, um, you know, they just barely started going out on us. They're, they're still fine, like they work, but they're just really thin. And we're just doing the preventative maintenance right now. Um, I'm going to be using this bike a lot now more, that since I'm working two hours away from home now. And it is deep in the heart of LA, so I will have to split lanes. And this thing is not ideal for splitting lanes. So that's why I'm using the Springer. Get this caliper off. That was easy. <laughs> that one's a little stiffer. So one thing to keep in mind, I am not a professional at this at all. If you're looking for a how-to video, don't come here. I don't know. Uh, I got an idea of what I'm doing, but I'm not a professional. Uh, there's probably way better videos out there. This is a fine example of I am not a professional. Um, I think I gotta take the rear wheel off. Which is weird, you shouldn't have to. Okay, no wait. Nope, nope, it came out. <laughs> Those two little bolts right there are going to hold the brake pads in place. No idea what this bolt right here is for. Um, I'll put that right there. Okay, to give you guys a little bit more reference of what I was blabbing on about, I am assuming that these two bolts right here are what's holding the pads in place. They are 12 points, so you can only get them off with a 12 point socket. Um, however, I do not have a 12 point that goes that small. So it looks like I am going to be heading to Harbor Freight to get a set of 12 points that go that small. Um, I'm going to assume that they are metric because the two bolts holding the caliper in place were metric. Um, yeah, this is why you do your research before you do something. I did not. You know, I literally said, um, it's brake pads, how bad could it be? And, yeah, I just don't have the tools in place. Other than that, like, it's still pretty straightforward. You know, you take the caliper off. Normally your pads just pop right off, but these are being held in place, so. To Harbor Freight I go. I will get back to you when I get back. Alright, Lowe's was a success. Um... I was actually able to pick up a whole kit, a Craftsman, 12 points, which is perfect because um, my quarter inch drive, I actually broke it um, trying to do an oil change. Long story, well not really long story, but basically it busted. Um, so yeah, I knocked two birds out with one stone, and I even got some little cutoff wheels for my Dremel, but more on that later. I'll get back to you guys at the house. Okay, we're back. This time, the right tools. Thank God. Man, they really gotta put that many clips on.
I bought the wrong ones. Actually, that'll still work. Okay. All right guys, so it's now a couple days later. Basically, I'm over here at Victorville Harley-Davidson. Those EVC pads, I don't know what it is about them. They just don't fit. No matter what I do, I haven't ground them down. I tried every trick in the book, nothing. They just don't fit. Like, something about their dimensions are nothing like what Harley had designed. It just, it doesn't work. And I looked every video up, called people, I don't know if I got a dud set or what, but those EVC pads are just horrible and they don't fit. Like, I'm pretty sure the material's good, but they just don't fit. So I'm back at the dealership now and I'm going to get a set of stock Harley brake pads. The front ones fit. I'll show you guys that later. That, that went on in like five minutes. That was no problem. But the back ones, I cannot get the pins to line up. I cannot get anything to line up with those pads on there. I don't care who you are, you could try it on my bike and it just does not fit. I don't know if my caliper is just somewhat different slightly than everyone else's because it's a 200 millimeter or what, but I I can't get it to fit. So yeah, here we go. Um, so at this point, I have no idea what the hell's going on because this bolt, bolt just won't thread. Let's see. That's bottoming out. The other one does it. But that one's not going through. Um, yeah, I'm really out of ideas here. This already turned into a very expensive brake job. And I am really stuck here. Front ones went on perfectly fine. Yeah, you can see the orange from the EVC pads. You know, the stock Harley pads. Initially, they went on really well, but... It's, I couldn't get them to thread and they're not stripped out. So, anyone's got any ideas, let me know. I'm already looking at just replacing the caliper with something better. Cause this design just clearly doesn't work. It's not working at all. It's gotta be something with the spring or whatnot, but I just, me, my dad, we couldn't get it. You get one bolt to line up, the other one doesn't go in. This was the closest I've ever gotten it. Yep, see? The whole thing just popped out of place too now. I'm really out of ideas here, guys. I'd like to thank Harley for making probably the worst rear brake caliper design actually no i've seen stupider but this is just not working guys you can't tell me these won't work because they're factory replacements like literally if you hold them up to the original brake pads they they look exactly the same just new And I mean, initially the caliper looks great, but it's just, I don't get it. Why won't they line up? You know? Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys for now. 
let you know when I come back with something else. Okay, so I have figured out what is wrong. These are the stock brake pads that came with the bike in 2005. It is a 2006 year model, yes, but it was bought in 2005. Just get that out the way before you guys start complaining. These are 15 years old. These are brand new from Harley Davidson. These are EBC replacement pads. Now, initially looking at them, okay, they're the same pad. However, it's one difference. You see that right there? Here, I'll, it's more obvious if you put it right here. Look directly above it, this little bit of metal right here hits up against the caliper and it becomes even more evident on this one right here you gotta get the right angle on it but I don't know if this is specifically to a caliper on a 200 millimeter rear tire or just the year model or what but for some reason every other company these are Harley Davidson pads by the way too you literally just saw me at the dealership get these these are the original factory ones. These are EBCs, okay? For some reason, both have this. They have that shape. You can see, these are all beat up because I was trying to tap them in place, grind them away, trying to make them fit. I just, don't waste your time with them. Now, tomorrow, Actually, no, tomorrow Saturday, they will be open. I'm going to the dealership and get me another set of these, but I have to take them these because these did not fit. Let's show them the difference and see if there's any specialty shit going on. Okay. All right, guys, so it's now the very next day. I came back to Victorville. You can't really tell, but I came back to Victorville, Harley Davidson, took them the original pads, took them the ones they sold me, and it was an older guy, you know, he's been there for a while. He used to work at Laidlaw's. He he was like, oh yeah, you have a 200 millimeter tire. That's a two year only brake pad, 2006 and 2007. The only year to have that brake pad. And so basically they were scrambling around the back. They couldn't find it. And it turns out they've only ever had one other set ordered since 2017. I think is what they said, that or 2007, I think 2017. But, so basically, I have a very rare brake pad and most people just kinda grind down the brake pad that they have in stock so they don't have to wait. But since I have the Street Glide to ride to work, I just basically ordered the right one so I don't have to deal with the headache later on. And that's basically, where we're at, I will let you guys know when I get the brake pad in. So note this down. If you have a 2006 or 2007 soft tail with a 200 millimeter rear tire, you need to buy a specific brake pad just for that or grind down the ones for the other brake pads. Otherwise, it will not clear the caliper. Um, that's all I have for you guys right now. I will let you know when they come in.